Okay, I was once a youth director. Now, one of the things uh, that you need to be if you're a youth director, okay, and it's a very important character issue, is you have to be sadistic, okay, because, you know, those kids are going to be a problem, so, you know, you be a problem before they're a problem. So we once had this joke that I would tell the new kids and the old kids would enjoy the joke, and the joke went on for 15 minutes. I'd love to give it to you right now, but we just don't have the time. At the end of the joke, we said, the punchline was, so this, the Sklaben seal said to the fur seal, tennis racket, tennis racket. That was the punchline at the end of 15 minutes. It wasn't funny. But that was the funny part, and the kids that already were in on the tennis racket joke, they're laughing, and the other kids are laughing too because they think they're supposed to laugh because everybody else is laughing, and that was the laugh. The culture teaches us all kinds of things, and it says it's funny. It says this commercial is funny, or this way of looking at a woman is funny, or this way of looking at a disability is funny, or this way of looking at ourselves is funny. When in reality, it's tragic. It's not funny. You and I, as Knights of the 21st Century, have to figure out how to differentiate what is healthy, funny humor, and what is being sold us constantly so that we learn to compromise with it, that's not really funny. It's as lousy as the tennis racket, tennis racket joke. So let's go out and make a difference in our culture. Let's laugh as men and knights of the 21st century when it's funny. And when it's tragic, let's be discerning and call it for what it is. Remember, that any change you and I do in our culture to make a difference in any men's movement in the future has to begin with you. <laughs>